Hi guys! What's up? And welcome back again to my channel! So this is again another vlog for all of you guys and as you may have noticed, I haven't actually been able to post that much lately because I was quite busy with work and also I am now going to my Finnish language course. So I'm actually just trying my best to push myself to learn the language because I have been here in Finland and I have been living in Finland for three years. Yeah, three years now and I really want to learn more the language and to speak more the language. So yes, but that's not our topic for today and this vlog is actually more informative. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's more informative. That's why we have like a white space here because I'm going to put some things here and some details and informations that would actually help you if you come or if you want to come and work and live in Finland. <laughs> So as I have said, we're going to have informative things for today's vlog. Ayan. So how much does it actually cost a single person to live in Finland? And of course, we're talking about the rentals and also the basic commodities, how much they need to spend. So first of all, we're going to, to talk about how much does it cost to have an apartment in Finland. If you are a single person and you don't have a family, you don't have a kid, I'm speaking for you. <laughs> and yeah, because I have also got a lot of messages from my friends in the Philippines and like asking how much does it cost because they know that the cost of living in Finland is quite expensive. And that's true. And that's what we're going to talk about. And also for us to understand like, how much do we need if we come to Finland and if we try to work here and like how much should I expect to to spend as a single person that my expenses is quite a little lower compared of course to the married couples and also people who has kids I have learned about how do I need to budget also my monthly bills and groceries and basic commodities and stuff like that so if you want to rent an apartment in finland actually we have a list here of the websites that you could actually send message and send an application and choose what apartment you want it is actually seen like how much is the apartment and where is it located and what can you get on that apartment right but i think it's actually quite different something different also with the websites when you consider what area are you in finland and especially like if you live in robanyenmi maybe they have a different website where you could find also apartments but for my city it's these websites i hope they could help you the good thing in finland is that the scams for apartments is quite very low, maybe 1% because what you could see in the picture is quite or much better when you go and see it for yourself. So if you have chosen the apartment that you want to apply, then you just send an application. Actually, not all apartments that you apply is accept your application because of course they're going to consider like how much is your salary or where would the payment for the rent come from so in finland it's actually also a right of the owner of the apartment to know how much is your salary and where do you uh, work and stuff like that like do you have loans in the bank so that they could also ensure that you are capable to rent the apartment and that you have money to rent the apartment and to pay the bills every month so before your final decision if you want the apartment or not you could actually go and see the apartment itself and you could actually schedule for a showroom and stuff like that and then when you like or love the place you need to still wait for the 
reply if you are chosen as the tenant of the apartment or not yes it's quite a process so if you are chosen to be the tenant of the apartment then you need to have your koti bakutus or your home insurance sa kosopimus or your electricity contract and also down payment in my case i actually gave two months deposit because that's what the landlord wants and also i need to make my own electricity contract and my home insurance so if you have gathered everything already you have your electricity contract and your home insurance and also your down payment they would ask you again for one payment which is your first month payment of the apartment <laughs> yeah so there's three so you really that's why i i told you that you really need money to start in a new apartment the good thing is that in my old apartment i had this one down payment and then they actually gave it back to me the down payments are actually given to you if you go if or if you move apartment and if they come to check the apartment and everything is okay everything is fine then you get the full amount of the down payment now we're going to go to the main topic which is how much do i need to pay every month so these are the things that i actually pay every month that i live here in finland first of all my rent of the apartment second is my sahko energia or my electricity bill third is my water bill fourth is my internet and data and load and my busikorti the home insurance is actually it's either you pay it at once or you could actually pay it quarterly so i chose my <laughs> quarterly and the home insurance depends think where you live but yeah it's how big your home and then they calculate it for the insurance regarding my grocery shoppings i actually go grocery shopping for one day in a week or maybe two days in a week but what i do is i don't actually buy for the whole month i actually buy like every week so every start of the week or every sunday after our fellowship i go for grocery shoppings or monday in the afternoon i start to go to the shop and make my groceries for the whole week i don't do for the whole month because i live alone and also sometimes i'm not at home mostly and i also don't eat my lunches here i eat it at work so i don't need that much food to be stored in my house yes <laughs> but i actually buy and then i bring it to work because i me and Winnie actually eat there during lunch times and morning breakfast <laughs> and bali pala like my snacks so yeah i hope you have learned something and i hope you would enjoy your stay in finland and i'll see you again on my next vlog bye guys